If you are a little low on pocket change, you are not alone. A nationwide coin shortage following the COVID-19 shutdown, making life hard for more than laundromat and car wash customers. Our Stuart Pittman explains how we got here and how the solution to this national coin shortage might already be in your garage. It's safe to say most homes have them, a canister of loose coins long forgotten. But according to some, pocket change is getting scarce. I have heard something about it. Uh, I found it a little hard to believe. <laughs> I, I'm, I was kind of stupefied that there would be coin shortage. Al Hess isn't alone. With so many nickels and pennies stashed away, it's difficult to understand how we've come to run so low. So we had our own Jason Puckett look into it. We can verify the mint slowed production to protect employees, and that's led to lower supplies and circulation. Seems it's all a matter of supply and demand. Basically, the supply shrunk because coins were just out of circulation. So when the economy restarted, and it really kind of created that perfect coin storm. Experts say paying exact change or using your debit card will help calm that storm. In the meantime, there is a bright side. This McDonald's in Belmont is offering free food for loose change. Bring in $10 worth of coins, get a 10 spot back, and a free dessert. Bring in more, and they'll toss a burger your way. Wonderful. <laughs> I, I should have bought my coin jar. Shouldn't we all, Al Hess? Shouldn't we all? In Belmont, Stuart Pittman, WCNC Charlotte. And the bankers don't expect the coin shortage to be long lived. They say the mint should start operating again soon and the flow of coins will even out.